starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. Welcome back. Talking temperatures here to start out because this will be our coolest day of the week. Temperatures only in the upper 70s to low 80s right now. Harrisburg at 81, Carlisle the same number, Somerdale at 79 degrees. East winds coming in ahead of this front and the front not too impressive at the moment, but nothing severe wise, so that is good news. And what we're seeing right now are basically run of the mill showers, a few pop up thunderstorms over parts of Mifflin, Juniata counties to the north there over Lewistown, and then even farther to the north of Lewistown, Spruce Hill to the east of Blaine, also getting a couple of showers. Newport, hopefully a couple of showers are on your way. When we zoom out and show you the big picture, I do expect a few more waves of showers and storms to develop. So you can picture this push of instability and energy kind of coming on through. We should see more development through the day. Plus, it's very humid outside, so something has to give in terms of moisture. Now let's Circle back here a little bit and remind everyone we do have an active drought, a moderate drought for a good portion of the mid state, basically from Chambersburg Northeast into Lebanon also includes Gettysburg and Northern York County. Anything we get today is a bonus, but as I mentioned in the first half hour, I'm pretty encouraged by what I see heading our way over the next couple of days. It's not just today providing a chance of showers and storms. A few pop up showers and storms late tomorrow evening again on Thursday into Friday. Again, at least there are chances out there and today again scattered showers and storms will exist through the evening hours. It's not going to be raining the whole time, so you have any outdoor plans. You probably can sneak them in as long as that shower storm continues passing by the last about a half hour to an hour at a time as they develop. But here's one system pushing through today. Tomorrow we keep an eye on this one and then there's yet another system farther to the west. It's kind of a wave train of storms, if you will, through Friday and the weekend starts to dry out some as we look ahead. But let's talk about today. First, we do get this wave of showers and storms developing. I mentioned in the last half hour. I think this is a little bit slow to develop. The showers and storms could be earlier than six to seven o'clock, but either way, this is encouraging and even later tonight there could be a few lingering showers, maybe a rumble of thunder tomorrow to start out. It's dry, but as we head into the evening hours and overnight, some clouds, a few light showers pass through Thursday, also offering the chance of scattered showers and storms, at least in this forecast model. So trends may be turning a little bit rainier for Thursday, Friday. The next system has to come on by and I do think in general, the weekend here turning out a little bit drier than expected, so we may be able to eliminate some of those storm chances, James, for Saturday and Sunday. What we're not eliminating, though, is the heat, the building heat with temperatures in the 90s. So if you're not a fan of the heat, today's the day to kind of get a reprieve, maybe go outside, go for a walk, because the next few days are going to be kind of tough to take. Gotcha. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Sure. We'll be right back.